day 75. I wake up annoyed. Uh, last night I went to go zip one of my zippers closed and it made the zippy noise, but when I woke up this morning, it's all flapping in the wind. So now none of my bug net zippers close. That's just frustrating. I gotta do a tick check at night and in the morning. Brr. Uh, not a bad night's sleep. It's 3 a.m. I woke up because I went to bed really early. Actually, not really early. I thought it was early. I thought it was like 7, but it turns out it was 9 because the sun that stays up really late here. <sighs> so I'm going to try to get a hold of the guy who offered me his tent. I'm not sure what kind of tent it is. He did mention, but it's not something I'm familiar with. But beggars cannot be choosers. I would just be happy to have a tent that, you know, did what it's supposed to. You know. Not with these delicate ass zippers. Why not just make a more robust zipper, if anything? But anyway, I don't want to get started on that, but that's what's in my, my brain this morning. It sucks when your house doesn't work. Uh, I think today we get to visit, visit the bird. Today we get to visit the Virgin Mary. Why was that so hard to say? <laughs> right, because it's 3 a.m., huh? Um, so that'd be kind of cool. That's the highlight of my day, man. I'm not I'm not sure what to expect. Not much. It's like a memorial for a bunch of people that died and whatnot. But, you know, I've never seen a huge statue on a mountain like that before. So, um, it's interesting to me. Oh. So, I'm just going to sit here and wallow in disgust at this tent. And then carry on my happy ass on and, you know, be all happy about the day. This is just, you know... <clears throat> Just, you know, issues, issues. I just, I itch now. I feel like there's ticks all over me. I haven't found one yet, but, yeah, I keep itching. Now that I know I'm so vulnerable, you know, both sides. <sighs> you know, I don't know if anybody else is on trail. I know, I know they jumped off, but Big Red was talking about jumping back on. But, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, where that's going to happen, so... I'm probably just going to end up continuing on and then hitching back to where I think the van is. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, oh, yeah, I do kind of know, huh? I took pictures there. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's one of the joy of taking pictures is you always have a GPS of where things are. So I just have to figure out where I took a picture, what pictures I took from there, and then GPS my way back. Eh, no biggie. Okay, and where are we? Well, we have no idea where water is again today. There's two sources within the tech next 10 miles, but both are labeled as dry. It is a chilling morning. Man, might take a little while to get the body working right. There's no clouds in the sky yet, so that's a really good sign. Also, the reason why it's so cold this morning. Hopefully, we have a nice, bright, sunshiny day. It'll be all warm. It's going to be a great hiking day. We're going to see awesome stuff. Let's do it. Oh, so far, it's just been cold and socked in by trees. Thought I saw eyeballs. not. Well, that means I haven't seen a single eyeball yet, either. <sighs> at least, you know, when it's dealing with the cold, like, at least it's too cold for mosquitoes. I'm guessing that's what's keeping them at bay. <sighs> Whew. Most of my body feels pretty good. It's just really the hands that hurt right now. Just trying to hike at a decent pace, get my body temperature up so that I can stop and enjoy a safety meeting. It's priorities. Do the things in life that make you happy, man. Oh, just warm those fingers up first. Huh? Oh, come on up, son. I miss you already. <sighs> Didn't get to hang out with you at all yesterday. <sighs> I 
I have my body, my body temperature's warmed up. Fingers don't hurt so much. I know it's still cold because my face feels it. Oh, but the rest of me's doing fine. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. This trail's just twisting back and forth. Felt like I was headed Sobo most of the day yesterday. But just a convoluted trail. Alright, top of this hill. And have a little safety meeting. Ah, the morning has come. I feel a little more safe walking through woods when they Everything is knocked down. Not much sneaks up on you when it has to traverse a bunch of little sticks. Sure, cats would be good at it, but still, there's not always a direct route to where you're trying to go. I love the blue tinged early morning hours. Oh, damn, that's steep. How quickly things change. I'm up a few hundred more feet and the sun is not shining yet, but it got way warmer. I had to dress down. I can't see my breath anymore. Didn't see that coming. Where did the cold all go? Not that I'm complaining. It was just really sudden and generally the higher I get, the colder it gets. So not always, but generally. So I'm a little confused by that, but I'll take it. I prefer to hike in a shirt than a puffy any day of the week. Not much of a sunrise, but that's good. Gives me no reason to linger.
Oops, scenic overlook. I kind of like these signs. I don't often take the side trails. These ones are kind of obvious because they're so short. Let's see what we're looking at. I believe it's Anaconda. Without seeing the smokestack, I'm uncertain. Since I don't see one, I'm gonna go with no. I don't know where this is. Ooh. I have no idea what town this is. Hidden Valley Ranch. Sun's still trying to make its way up, but not a cloud around. Let's keep it that way. I need power as well. Uh, since I had signal last night, I tried to upload a video. I got to 49%, but it used the entire battery in my phone and the entire anchor battery I carry. So I unplugged it once I ran out of the anchor battery. Just, you know, I woke up about that time and looked at it. I was like, oh, I had a battery. I don't know, 49%. So. I killed that one. Waste of battery. But you gotta take a chance. Just because I'm kind of caught up doesn't mean I have any room to slack. It only takes a couple of days to fall behind again. These hour plus long videos really stack up in my phone. If only somebody could shut the hell up. Oh, that's probably Butte down there. I just don't recognize it because I can't see the mines behind the mountains. So I probably have walked all the way around it. I just got a little confused on which direction was which. Oh, it's about to happen. Guess what's going on around this corner? Good morning, sunshine. <sighs> Can't feel it very much. Oh, looks like I got a little bit of climbing to do. So Mary is up in there somewhere. I looked on Google Earth because she's not on my gut hooks map. And on Google Earth, I couldn't find a path. Oh, I finally saw an animal. Might have been a white tail. Not sure. I just saw its white butt. Could have been an elk. First animal I've seen since I think I've been in, uh, where am I again? I was going to say Minnesota, but that's not Montana. There we go. Different animal. But I couldn't find any trails that led from her to me. But this trail doesn't even seem to appear on the map. So sometimes with Google Maps, if you push walking and a destination, it'll show you the trails in between. But when I did that, it had me go down to the freeway and walk along the freeway forever and then go back up and around. And there's a road that leads up to her. But it didn't give me this trail as an option.
Hey, those are semi-fresh trekking hole marks headed in my direction. Since it hasn't rained in two days, they could be as old as two days. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a natural arch if I ever saw one, huh? This is a very cool, oh, look at that one. Oh, Stonehenge over there. Because there's not a beaten path up to it. Maybe there is and I just don't see it. No. We're making the climbs pretty easy so far. Gone up a couple of mountains and you know they're decent size. But they wind around a lot. They're not even really switchbacks. So it's not all that hard to climb, it just takes a minute. Looks like once upon a time somebody came up here and stacked these. There are all sorts of stacks out there. That one, that one, this rotten one. Oh, that very rotten one. They do rot much faster in a pile though. And the forest looks less cluttered. It needed it. Oh, it is time for a break. Hmm. I have options. I'm going to look inside these rocks. They're all angular and stuff. Not necessarily good for sitting. But maybe. Nope. I mean, there's a cowboy camp spot in there. But. Nothing I necessarily want to sit on. So log, you win by default. I must be looking old. Two mountain bikers just rode by me. I heard them coming up the way for a while. You know, they're just talking. You know, it's bullshitting like guys do. And when they saw me, the guy said, Sorry for the foul language, sir. Sir? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's my dad's name, I'm pretty sure. That's not mine. This guy was just weird. Hmm. I should totally be doing second copy or something right now. I'm just, uh, I don't have the fuel for it. I forgot to buy a fuel last time we were out. So Red uh, loaned me a little one, but the little ones don't really do a whole lot for me. Plus I found that I can't screw and unscrew my stove to them without losing a butt ton of gas. Uh, it hisses so much that it burns my fingers a little bit. You know, while freezes them. Um, 
So I have left my stove attached. I'm carrying it differently. It's inside my cook pot with the lid on, but the stove is still attached to the gas. Have to reinvent the stove too. Start working on that as well. I got a list of things to work on. Should keep me busy, right? I have found Our Lady of the Rockies on the map. It turns out she doesn't appear until you zoom in close enough. She's not like a water icon that is just always there. You have to zoom in. Oh, I can see two trails on it. One going up. I can go down the way and come back down. It adds a decent amount of travel because it's up a mountain. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to do it anyway. I, I didn't look at how far away it is, though. I probably should have looked at that. That's a today thing, though, I'm fairly certain. Mm. But yeah, I should probably find out how far up the trail she is. And figure out where my next watch is as well. I think there's one coming up in a few miles, but, you know, dry. We'll see, though. Everything's had water in it so far. I'm updating as I go. Sitting in the sunlight, it was easy to be fooled into a wardrobe change. Oh, that was a mistake. But, you know, now that I'm here, I'm going to try to just suck it up and hike. Oh, there she is, butte in all her glory. I can hear it coming over the hill. Oh, sunshine. Oh. Just for my fingers and my nose hurt right now. The rest of me is doing pretty okay. Sunshine does feel good. I'm just going to stand here for a second. Pretend I'm enjoying the view, but it's mostly the sunshine. Oh, of course. Travel 93 million miles to get here and you get blocked by a little water vapor in the sky. Disappointed in you. Carry on.
Oh, we have our first sighting. In the house. Oh yeah, hey, what's that? Didn't quite look how I expected it to look from this angle. Kind of like a chess piece. Let's see if we can make it there by lunch. Oh, good. I get to switch back down the side for a while. And have a cool view of town where everybody's probably all warm, cozy. Look at them all in their sunlight. Bask in it. Oh, I want some of that sunshine. That is a big motherfucking pile of dirt. Now, did they pull all that out from straight underground? Because I know they got tunnels that run down like thousands of feet. Hey, my first evidence of bear scat. Yeah, it's well over a year old, but still, that's bear scat. That's the first one I've seen. I expected to see a few on the trail, even old ones. Those things stay for a while. Those are pretty much the same colors on my tent. I'm just not sure which one is a bigger disaster. Jesus, the zoom on this thing is impressive. I mean, because, you know, video, this is as close as I'm allowed, but with my camera, I can get way in there. I don't know, but I think this might be my last water source for a while. So I grabbed two liters. That'll give me enough to get me up to Mary and back on trail. Rumor is there might be water up there. There's spigots. There's detailed instructions how to turn them on. But, yeah. I guess we'll see. I hear all, all sorts of explosions going off. I know they do it to scare away the birds because there's an acid pool down there that melts them. But, you know, they're also mining. But I don't know if any of it's above ground mining. It might all be underground. You can see right through.
Well, I came from that way, so I don't want to go that way. This way. I don't see a trail over there. I see signs over there. I don't want to go that way. Are you a trail? I see skid marks. Okay, huh. okay. wrong trail. But I will definitely check the map. That's beautiful. The clouds here seem to just materialize out of nowhere. They don't blow in from places. They just start popping up. You can watch them grow. They go in kind of all directions. They don't just flow. They get bigger. But yeah, it's been cold. Well, since I got here. <laughs> oh, my fingers still hurt. You know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my gloves. It's like that yesterday. It teased me in the beginning with a... Uh, with some sunshine and then took it away. Well, at least I got what I got. I'm only about two miles, eh, we'll say two and a half with uh, the climb up tour. Um, and that's why I'm gonna stop and have my lunch. Still decently early in the day. I think it's like 10, maybe a little later. Ooh. Are those moose turds? It's been a while since I've seen a moose turd, so I'm not, I'm not sure. I kind of think they are. Way smaller than you think a beast that big would poo. Oh, look who's back. Everything changes when you're out. My fingers barely hurt anymore. crystals in it. It's interesting. They probably don't glint and reflect the same way on camera that they do for me, but it's beautiful. Alright, so this is the third one I found. Third one marks pattern. Uh, how very, how's everybody else been getting around? I see a few broken branches here and there, but so I've just been, you know, doing some trail maintenance. Just snapping my way through these things. Make it easier for the next cat. Oh, what? Hey, yeah. That's what I thought. There. That's better. Trail maintenance. We're getting closer. A little over a mile to the road that leads up. It is labeled as steep. So, <laughs> I kind of guessed it was.
Aha, uh -huh, that's who's ahead of me. That's been breaking just a few sticks and getting through. Some elk or deer or something. Those are pretty fresh. Well, I was curious. I was like, how does a hiker get through and only break a couple sticks like that? I was like, maybe they didn't have a backpack and they were really skinny. Am I the first person on this thing? That'd be pretty cool if I was. There are so many good caves. This one is super deep. Narrow, but still. It's way back in there. I can't even tell. I've seen a bunch of them that could definitely hold a bear or a man. So the trail goes up and around this way, but according to this sign here that somebody made for us, the lady is this way. Looks kind of steep, man. I'm ready for lunch. That'll motivate me. Well, that's new garbage for me. I see a coil of it at the top. Keeps going up. Still following it. So there was a gate, but Mother Nature was like, fuck your gate. I don't know what the sign says. Oh, positively no trespass. Well, I think that's the way. I don't know, maybe up there. Hard to tell with all these down trees. Well, I'm near the top. I can hear the sounds of traffic now. I'm assuming that's the last rise. Oh, I can see her peeking out a little bit. I thought she was a cloud. Maybe that is a cloud. I don't know. Very white, though. I guess a first impression this place litters a lot. There's just junk all over the place. It all blows off of this structure right here. And I've been finding it halfway down this hill. Okay, I see water over there with a hose hooked up. I don't necessarily want to mess with that. I still have a leader on me. I heard something about electrical outlets. This place has all sorts of nooks and crannies. Ooh. Don't even bother lighting it back here. Got ourselves some gating just for defense. We can set it up in front of the doors. Oh, is that Jake the Snake Roberts? That right, totally is. That dude's fucking famous.
I see no outlets. I'm gonna check this building over. Meow. Pause it if you want to read it. All the trees have numbers. I'm assuming they planted them for people. It's my best guess. If you're less important, you end up here. Hmm. Rubies. Might as well check those out along the way. Ooh, more than just a privy. This is like a bathroom. Well, not quite. Well, that's a urinal. I'm kind of like, what is that? Interesting. Well, she way up there, huh? Well, that'd make a nice picture, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, that's a few. I think I get uh, on the freeway down here somewhere and then take that back into town. Not exactly sure where, but I can find it. Let's explore the valley. Do something interesting, but no. It's not much. Oh, you can see right up her nose. <laughs> yeah, there are holes that go in. Guess you gotta have ventilation somewhere, you know. Oh, her story. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, pause it if you want to read it. I'm going to check the door. It's locked tight. But impressive statue. Well worth the, the climb up here to look at her. She's got the views. See the cool rocks. Okay, good times. Outlets worked. I got a decent charge. I was here for about an hour or so. Mostly at that bench. I looked at the map and the way I was looking to take out was following the road, but yeah, it doesn't. It's definitely not the shortest path, so I'm just going to go back the way I came. Which I think was down this, wasn't it? Oh no, this path was barely there. No, this is not, this is way too marked. I'm down in there. Yeah, it's uh, more of an animal trail, if anything. But, you know, I have followed it up here, so I should be able to find my way down. So yeah, this is what I'm working with. Followed this down, and then like, 
Is there a trail going anywhere? I don't know. Is this the trail? It's trailing. I just wonder how some stuff gets places. What is the big old steel drum doing up here? Hmm. Oh, that explains the wire I saw, maybe. Holding telephone poles together. I don't see any telephone poles. That's what that's a piece of. <laughs> oh, we are back on trail. Oh, that was quite a climb. It'd take a little longer than I expected, just based on comments. But my pack is heavier and I do tend to walk a little slower. It has been an uphill climb. But fortunately the sun is out, I feel good. I'm trying to soak up all its good energy and rays right now before the clouds come in and take it away. got no agenda on how far I'm going, but I did just read that in six miles there's a really sweet camp spot. Right by water and whatnot, but not right by water. I shall investigate. Well, hell. Remember that road I didn't want to take because it was too far out of the way? So I took the other way down? Well, now I'm on that road. At least I did the wrong way uphill. This road was the right way for a while, but I missed a turn off. Must have been 90 degrees or more, because that's that's what I overlook. Lame. But at least it's downhill. Man, this thing was steep. I've been climbing for a while. Where did I go wrong? Got way down at the bottom of the hill. Of course. <laughs> nope, not quite a 90 degree. I went up here. I should have gone over here. Maybe that thing needs a little love. Well, I'm going to give it a little love. Somewhat better. I'll work with what you got. I wasn't going to go out and grab new rocks or anything. Come on. Okay. Back on trail. Well, I've been breaking through the little trees, but... That would take too long. something cute. Well, I guess that's pretty cute too. Not a dance monkey. 
Here are the ants. This next section for the next seven or eight miles that I've looked has tons of water drops on the map. And all of them say dry. This one isn't even a water drop on the map. Oh, it's just nice over here. A little walkway. Some little waterfalls. Just kind of coming out of nowhere. Same with that one, just coming out from under a tree. That's how it works around here. No, really, where's it at? <laughs> Should probably stop and collect water here. This is a nice spot. I wouldn't mind kicking in here for a little bit. Okay. We all agree. We all agree. Sitting lot. Perfect. I've been dealing with a lot of blowdowns. But at least they have bridges. I'm just too early for the maintenance crews to have come through. How did a decapitated baby tree end up in this? Where were you? Where'd you come from? Oh, that's probably a branch from one of the ones when it fell down. Okay. This fell down recently. I could tell this long one had fallen down recently by the color of its roots hanging out. But yeah, this one must have come down too and then snagged one of the branches on its way down. Oh, okay. Mystery solved. Okay, this sucks. I just been breaking through, going under. But yeah, shit. Slow going. Hey, I know that guy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, you here. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of interesting running into red. At first I thought, fuck, am I going the wrong way? And then it dawned on me, nah. He's going so low. So Count dropped him off at the trailhead that I'm headed to. He's probably going to stay the night up at the Lady of the Mountain. He says there's blowdowns for the next couple of miles, and then they just taper off. So groovy, because there's a lot of blowdowns. He said there's a mine up here, but I think it's too close to bother camping at. I'm not ending my day this soon. Oh, look at all that gold right there. Is that gold? It sure looks like gold, don't it? It's probably pyrite, but still, it looks like gold. Not what I was thinking when I heard old mine. I was imagining a hole in the side of a mountain.
Got no idea what that is. But it was important to somebody at some point. It's rather modern as far as gold mining stuff goes. What's that sticky mass coming out of it? Well, I gotta poke it with my stick. Huh. Totally solid. Where did it come from? Oh, I'm at a loss. It's all fibrous right here. Is that solid too? Not completely. I just have no idea what it was, is, where it came from. Smell. Can't smell it. Hmm. That's strange. Well, there's a big old lake out there. This totally reminded me of the PCT blowing up rocks left and right. Look at that one. Totally explosion in that. You know, stupid rocks in my way. Those rocks right there. Boom! Move it. Pile your ass up over there.
Oh, it's nice down here. Where I'm planning on camping is uh, less than a half mile. There is a water source between us, but this one's bigger, so I'm going to go for it. A bit on the orange side. Here's someone semi close with a chainsaw. Nice. They do trail maintenance on motorcycles and just cut down what's in their way. They're gonna tell them they're gonna find a good 50 or so in the next 10 miles in their way. They only got one chainsaw between them. It's gonna be slow going. And I would have to assume that they've cleared the trail from here on out, I mean, to get bikes through. Because those chest-high ones are the annoying ones. But we shall see. I'm only going another half-mile tops, but it should be clear. Mosquitoes are thick down there. It took forever to filter that water. But I want to have enough to where I don't have to filter in the morning. It's only 11.5 to the road. And uh, Big Red gave me Count's number so I can just call him and have him come pick me up. If he's feeling well enough. And if he's sick sick, I understand and I'll hit you in. But I'm hoping that he's well enough to drive to pick my happy ass up. running on fumes but I am near what appears to be the top according to comments there's a baller campsite that's their words not mine it says a great place to watch the sunrise so it tells me it has to be on the other side of that hill cuz you yeah, know there's sunset see it because there's not much camping otherwise well we have possibilities looks like I can get in there and check out this end and then circle back 
Okay, that's about wins, I think, by default. Yeah, everywhere else is unlevel. Oh, it looks like V spot down there. I don't want to camp on that rock. That looks pretty level. No, it isn't open fast enough. Okay, I am hungry. I brought enough water just in case I wanted to cook two dinners. Because since I don't need that extra one, I have room, I'm going to consume it. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. As you can see here, this is a solid bed of rock. So, no stakes. Hmm. But it is the only flat spot around, so... Yeah, it wins. I'm just going to secure everything down with uh, rocks and twigs and such and call it good. I'd cowboy camp, but I'm afraid it'd start raining. Let me see if I get service. That'll tell me. So tonight for dinner we are having cheddar broccoli with some rice and some chicken. And if I am still hungry, I'm going to try to pack that in me just so I don't have to carry it tomorrow. I don't need it. I don't know if I'm hungry enough for all that, but I'm going to try. 